Good morning again, ladies and gentlemen. John McGregor once again uh, reporting here from just adjacent to the Southland Parkland site. This is the Clem Jones Boulevard in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. And this is our second video on World Expo 88 artwork, Man and Matter by Peter D. Cole. And we can see the very uh, the playful colours, the surface-like engagement. You can imagine why these works were so popular at World Expo 88 along the Rue Bank there, because they really engage and captivate the audience at, at World Expo 88. And uh, this bridge, which we can see here, is the uh, is not the Victoria Bridge, it's the Captain Cook Bridge, I should say. The Victoria Bridge is, a, is the other bridge on the other side of the Expo site, the former Expo site. And uh, this Captain Cook Bridge links up with the South East Freeway, a very popular freeway for going down to the Gold Coast and things like that. And uh, we'll just let the cyclists go past. Then you can see the, uh, the City Cats uh, once again. And I should mention too that, uh, remember in our previous video with the saluting scout, we did make a reference to the Brisbane flood of January 2011. And uh, some of you may be aware that uh, the, the height of the river went up quite a few meters. And in fact, some of these man and matter uh, artworks uh, came right up to the base of these man and matter artworks. And um, we'll let that other cyclist just go past. And there are many uh, photographs on the internet of, uh, of these man and matter artworks with water just rushing, lap, lapping, licking the, the base of the artwork. But of course, the artworks weren't affected. Many Brisbane, uh, several thousands of Brisbane houses were completely inundated. So this is no story in comparison to the damage that was suffered by many of the houses in Brisbane and properties, etc., and factories. But um, whilst we're talking about the flood, I should also mention to you that the Nepal Peace Pagoda at Southbank Parklands, and in fact most of Southbank Parklands was inundated by the flood, uh, and the Nepal Peace Pagoda was also inundated just the base, uh, and only the display cabinet luckily uh, was damaged, but our Expo 88 memorabilia which was in the display cabinet was all water damaged and uh, destroyed. So after the end of, uh, uh, after a few months after the flood, uh, when the pagoda was reopened, uh, South Bank Corporation very kindly repaired the display cabinet and I approached South Bank Corporation to uh, repopulate the cabinet with Expo 88 memorabilia from the Foundation Expo 88 collection to which they very gratefully, uh, gracefully agreed. Um, so that concludes our video here. We're going to South Bank House at South Bank Parklands now to do another Human Factor Series uh, sculpture uh, video and we hope to see you there. Bye.